little bit of Thai food. Because that's what you're the only thing the boy can eat. <laughs> Promised the girl a nice steak dinner tonight. I was expecting oysters. Oysters. Uh -oh. I didn't get them at lunch like I was expecting. Now I'm we were across the way at the farmer's market and it was like a zoo of epic proportions. There were thousands of people in lines out the door, so we decided enough of that. Spring rolls. Yeah. Spring rolls it is. Look at this big guy. Chuck and he says, I don't want to be in charge here. about this boat. She, she's in need of rescue. Mm -hmm. um, the, 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 the top sides obviously need to be repainted. The blue mm -hmm. is in really, really sad shape. Uh, the electronics are old. Um, the seller has no idea where the Dodgers are. Oh, they're just, uh, the current owner mm -hmm. bought the boat for his son. And the son lost interest, and he's like, what do I do now? Because he's not really a sailor. Yeah. So I've been brought on board and getting up to speed with the boats, you know, fit and fitness. Mm -hmm. and, and as I come up with things, we're just going to disclose, you know, everything we know. The backstay adjuster was not operable, so he re replaced that. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a new starting battery coming. Uh, the house battery works great. All the electric winches operate properly. The Reckman mast was an $87,000 upgrade when the boat was new. Mm -hmm. um, but it is, um, you know, original in mass for oil. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, the decks, although in places, are remarkably good for its age. In other places, there's some really necessary repairs you have now. And the deck's being a, you know, a, a, like the, the blue topside paint is a cosmetic thing. It's not really a structural issue. Uh, but uh, a boat like this mm -hmm. needs $10,000, $15,000 spent on it every year to keep her up. And I think that's what has been neglected, which is why mm -hmm. such a big price tag has to be paid mm -hmm. right now. Rob, the, the, the people that I've talked to, um, Robin Sodaro being one who is the owner of Hood Sail mm -hmm. Makers over in Sausalito, uh, uh, Xander Hyde, who is uh, the yard manager over at KKMI, have both put in thousands of miles offshore in this particular style. I mean, mm -hmm. in this particular model of the Swan 46s. And they are, just have glowing, glowing uh, reports about how the boat handles. Mm -hmm. um, you would not for a moment be uh, shy about going out in you know any conditions in this particular rig. How dry is it? Has it seen leaks? Oh, down hatches? below? Yeah, yeah, let's go. We can go look. I well, mean, that's the best okay. part. It's drippy <laughs> icky today. And of course, having the two companion ways when we talk about offshore sailing is just so ideal um, to not have to step over the bridge deck mm -hmm. and go forward just coming straight yeah. up through the center companionway and vice versa if you've got to get to the helm and just going through the aft cabin is a uh, really good feature so I've so seen like the stern pulpit they're not turned on right now okay. the stern pulpit hinges towards us so that you have access to that uh, step back there Hard to tell if my water's going down or not. It's certainly not going down fast enough. <laughs> Two gigantic cockpit rockers. So. Mm -hmm. 
So that's in 1800 engine hours, I think. Yep. Is that correct? Okay. Uh, I read 1631. Oh, I see. Okay. Got a different angle at it. Plus my old eyes. So no, no Dodger, no, no Dodger. Bimini. No, he said he, he thinks he's got the rails for the Bimini uh, in storage, but uh, I haven't seen any evidence of it. So, well, they don't so, exist. so this is kind of the master suite on a 46. So this ladder disconnects mm -hmm. and then just slides right in. Sure. This is the access to the shaft. Lamp shaft. Mm -hmm. Bill just uh, there it is. This just is that part, right? a uh, second, um, I believe, cockpit table that comes out and oh, it goes up. It goes out there. I gotta talk to my dad about buying me a swan. Yeah. Fun. Swan. Dad, can I get a swan? <laughs> That's the stuffed animal in the mail. It's about as close as you're getting. <laughs> so these are stereo stuff in there. Neither. Neither. Was my parents saying. Yeah. Uh, so it was a. It was a. It, it was a questionable mystery to, to, mm -hmm. to my family as well. Now, these hatch wells show the worst of the UV. There isn't water draining in, but there has been the exposure and all of yeah. that needs to be tidied up. Yeah, there's a couple hatches that are cracked. Yeah. Yes, they are. It's cracked. Interesting. They put you know, interesting small touches like you know, Sony stereo. <laughs> um, but well, you have to understand that the, the priority. I think the kid just used it as a, an apartment. Mm -hmm. Well, you could do that with a boat like this. The, never yeah. had the budget or the interest to I know, get a ship shape to go offshore. Mm -hmm. Here's the uh, signature battery. <laughs> storage. <laughs> Most people would put their wine or salt and pepper in there, but not swan. Oh, they want they to keep it batteries. in the center line of the boat. Yeah, the weight is all in the right place. Now the engine has several, I shouldn't say several, it has two major access points. The uh, stairs come off. Wings. The stairs can also come off. A little bit of water there. And then you have this panel as well. Starter. Yeah, it definitely can stand to be cleaned up some. Oh, yeah. Two alternators, 124, 112. Refrigeration compressor, as Chris says. Starter. It is beautifully engineered. <laughs> well, you know, we all grew up, you know, loving Swan. It's the, you know, it's the. Kind of 
in its day. It still is, you know. I mean, if you can afford a multi-million dollar boat these days, oh, you yeah. know, an Otter Swan is not inexpensive to go buy. No, the uh, the, the two thousand. Well, actually, That's here they've got even. the electrical. Well, they've got the whole electrical schematic right what, there. What we are um, uh, void in, as far as information from the owner, we have got details and details and details. Mm -hmm. And in here are more volumes oh from the factory. Mm -hmm. Owner's manual, owner's manual, owner manual. So. Um, yeah, no, it's be that's really totally nice sweet. to have it all tidied up. Sure, but, but otherwise um, it's there. Yeah. We do have it, which is it's, it's going to be really valuable. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to be so good with it. I like the uh, the galley has um, mm -hmm. the top loading. Yeah, that's nice. As well as these mm -hmm. these bins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really yeah, smart. I mean, you don't have size, to hang by yeah. your by your belt buckle and get down to the bottom of the. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. You know, it's a small detail, but this little rod is yeah. it's so much <laughs> nicer oh, than the spring. Oh yeah, they <laughs> fail. The spring is just such a yeah. yeah. I mean, when they're working, they, they work great, but. Um, so this, believe it or not, Wendy is actually like a little Lee birth. <laughs> not very big. Really? You know, someone has <laughs> mounted some fasteners here, which yeah, I, I agree that. with you. This should be a pilot and a very cozy one at that. Yeah. But they put in these goobers for uh -huh. what? I don't know. Oh my God. That Maybe he had a big old... I mean, there's some he probably in his uh, life raft, maybe even. No, I bet it was his TV or something. Right. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe. so. Yeah. But this is this would be a a sea berth. Mm -hmm. It's set up with the uh, the lee cloths. Lee cloths. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's one of the um, controls for the mm -hmm. the AC. Yeah. You know, the finish of the inside is actually in, in, oh, in nice shape. shape. Uh, it's not bad, except for the, the wells, you know. Yeah. Yeah, the one not happy with those. With the what? The, 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 the wells. wells at the hatches. Yeah. Let's go this way. Yeah, watch the table. Watch the table. There you go. This is one of the fuel tanks here. Or tank, I don't know what kind, but... Um, It's getting a little bit corroded. Oxidized. Oxidized. Just up a little bit. Yeah, and let's do this. So, uh, you can prowl around as long as you like. Okay. Oh, that's 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 very nice of you um, to say that. So yeah, those tanks look like they're in good shape, and they've got some yeah. nice access panels on the top of them so that they can be cleaned if need be. Getting inside these tanks can sometimes be a problem. Scare the bejesus out of me. <laughs> but, um, holy cow. So my guess is, is this is a, a master battery switch, and the one forward I think is for the... Uh, the anchor windlass. Okay. Because mm -hmm. it looks similar. But I don't know what to do with it. But it's here. Get out of the way. Yeah, this is a giant plug. That's what those metal clips that are rusting. Are, are, is um, holding together. And uh, it probably uh, does run to the windlass because that's about the only thing up here that's got that much power going. And there's it. the, I think that's the breaker for it. There. Yeah, this is, sometimes the windlasses run off their own batteries. Yeah. Um, and same with bow thrusters, so you never know. But this is a fuse box, a waterproof fuse box, similar to this one over okay. here. The one that's down here is, you can see the breakers in there. Mm -hmm. so and this is a negative bus there. Yeah. When I first was, it became associated with the boat, the, the seller was having bow thruster issues, mm -hmm. serious ones, and the boat came out of the water for its scheduled bottom job and for the bow thruster to be repaired. 
Um, the yard ordered all the parts from Germany. I believe the unit was an Almar. <sighs> Got the replacement of, what would you call it? I, I guess it's a propeller. Mm -hmm. um, and then got into taking the actual tube and the thing disintegrated. So the, 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 the options were what to do. Uh, do we go back to the Almar people and put in, again, this unit that has, you know, failed and crumbled? Yeah, but it's this particular swan's been, been, I wouldn't even say rode hard and put away wet, just pretty much put away wet. Yeah. You know, it's, the um, broker tells us it's, she's been ignored. She was um, purchased by the owner's father uh, as a gift, and the son just wasn't really into sailing, used it as an apartment, and didn't do any maintenance at all. Now we do have electric winches. These both primary and secondary winches appear to be electrically powered. She says they're just they're not turned on right now. Um, they they did a they went to repair the bow thruster and the tunnel itself, which I guess was probably aluminum that was blasted in or maybe even some sort of galvanized steel just crumbled on them so they so they glassed it over which kind of sucks because uh, you know to, 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 to bring this back to what it should be you, you, you'd want to I don't know, you'd want to fix that uh, it's a tunnel for us there's probably not the greatest for hull speed now you do have an inner four stay and you know, two inner four stays really. Uh, we could call this a cutter rigged boat with an inner four stay. A big spinnaker pole and a, and a smaller whisker boom slash spinnaker pole here. Twin tracks. They're not they're not adjustable from the cockpit. They're, these are going to need to have somebody come out and move them manually these stops um, you know running rigging yeah, passable you know, in mass furling that she tells us that the transfer skipper reported that it was dirty but in good shape I mean maybe you'd take it out and uh, bleach it or well, not bleach but clean As far as my recap goes on this boat, I think I covered most, mostly everything I, I wanted to see in the video. I think the thing to make clear, I don't, I don't want to beat a dead horse about it, but I want to try to put it in perspective. If you're going to take a boat as a project boat and, re, and, and build it back, this is the type of boat you want to do it with. Uh, it, it doesn't make any sense to take a, a 1974 boat and, and put a ton of work into it. It's just, it's never going to be more than what it, it's, it's going to have a lot of built-in problems. This is the type of boat that is a true classic. And unfortunately here, it's just been kind of left. It's a, it's a, it's a barn car, you know, it's been left sitting there. It hasn't been um, abused. It, it just has been not kept up which isn't necessarily a problem. It, it's, it's, it, it creates opportunities, perhaps, for a buyer. It's, it, um, it's not for us. We can't, we can't spend the time and the energy to bring a boat like this back. But, you know, for somebody out there looking for, for a boat that they can, that they can have a top-of-the-line blue, blue water cruiser that they can take into any marina or any anchorage in the world, and people are going to say, wow, look at that, a nine, you know, a, 40, a Swan 46, that, that's that's kind of that's kind of what you have with a boat like this. It's it's uh, for for those who know boats, they recognize it for what it is. The Swan 46 and the Swan 48 um, are very similar in a lot of ways. Uh, in the in the in the, in the 46, I, I guess it's just a the, a slightly different version. Obviously, a couple feet shorter, but more than that, it was it it was a it was just a change in the design um, a little bit. You'll you'll notice more of a plumb bow. On, on on some of the on the on the newer 46s, um, 
traveler assembly, just twin wheels even on twin, twin helms on some of the later models. So we, 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 we just love seeing a boat like this and I hope, hope that somebody out there says, yes, you know, this is the type of boat I can, uh, I can, uh, I can bring back to life. Uh, so, so if you're out there, if you're that person, um, give Chris a call at City Yachts and, and, and talk turkey with her about it because it's a, it's a, it does look like it's an opportunity. Um, so, so, so that's it. Uh, let us know what your thoughts are and, um, and hit the like button if you like this. I know that we're kind of back now onto our, onto our standard uh, sailing channel uh, stuff, which, I, which obviously people like <laughs> based on the views. So um, we'll, keep, we'll keep at it and we'll see you soon. Take care.